Hey guys, I'm gonna show you guys how to um make your own ringtones out of out of uh, a music MP3 file that you guys have and uh, put it on your phone whether you have Bluetooth connection or USB connection. Now the cool thing about this is that let's say you own an iPod, you pretty much have iTunes because a lot of people have iPods and that's all you really need. I'm gonna show you how to do this with iTunes. All right, so um, I hope. You guys can see I'm, I'm really downing it now that I see it here through the webcam, but I'm going to try to uh, speak as loud as I can, and I'll be walking you through everything. So if you just listen, you should be able to get this. All right, so first we're going to, oh, by the way, I'm running on Windows Vista, so I'm pretty sure it's the same on Mac users, just different menus and stuff. All right, first you're going to go to Edit, and then Preferences. Um it's gonna start off in general you go to the advanced tab um, you select importing where it says import using go ahead and click the drop box and select mp3 encoder uh, and setting select custom and a window should pop up now the only thing you have to do here is where it says stereo bit rate go ahead and click that and change it to 64 kbps and just leave everything the same and press ok um, and click OK out of that. Now you're gonna select the song you want. It's easier if you type in the song that you want instead of keeping the whole list and then selecting like that. So let's say I want a song by um, the Addicts, the song Just Like Me, right? I type it in the search thing and just, it's just the song they're showing. So first what I'm gonna do is select the song, make sure it's highlighted. Uh, you can't really see that there but it's highlighted. Um, once you highlight the song, you right click it and click get info. Then you go to the options tab. Now right there, you, you see a, a tab that says start time and stop time. Go ahead and check start time. Um, choose the portion of the song in which you want it to start your ringtone. Now a ringtone is around 20 to 25 to 30 seconds long. My ringtones, I make them 20 seconds. So if you want to choose a certain portion of the song, go ahead and listen to it, find the second, and then go ahead and put it there. So you're going to put the time right here, okay? So let's say I want it from sub, um, 0 seconds to um, 0.30, alright? So that's how long I want it to last, 30 seconds from beginning to end. It doesn't have to be the beginning, but I'm going to just do it like that. You go ahead and click OK. And then once you do that, you go to the Advanced tab and you click convert selection to P mp3 sorry and then it's gonna convert it once it's done it's gonna go ahead and make a copy of the song and it's gonna be right under it which is why I told you that you should just select the song now the song in the bottom as you can see is gonna be 30 seconds long because that's how much I chose it and the one on the top is gonna be in minute 53 which is the original size of the, the song now that that um that song the one with 30 seconds is going to be your your ringtone now if your phone supports an mp3 format for your ringtone then you got it if not you download a um, what's it called a converter and convert it to whatever format you need now to get the actual file you right click the song and you go to show in Ex windows explorer and it'll pop up and when the one that's highlighted is going to be your your mp3 and you copy that and send it to your phone and do whatever you have to do now you're going to notice that the original song that you used to do the ringtone if you play it it'll only start and play up to the 30 seconds that you have and then it will stop to take that off you right click and go to get info and you uncheck the stop time click ok and then your song's back to normal and that's about it so i hope that helped you guys out and thanks for watching